That's as hard a dive as I've ever done to shoot one of those fish. Hey guys, so excited to be sharing with you some of my spearfishing adventures again. And today I have got one of the best days I've ever had spearfishing. The day uh, started off pretty much like any normal day. We just headed out offshore and we started chasing some jewfish and my mate Andrew was with me. He shot a really nice jewfish to start off with. Next dive was my turn and uh, I found myself a really nice 18 kg jew. When I dived, uh, I noticed the water was looking pretty good. Now I got down towards the bottom and I'm laying in a big set of boulders, an area where I've shot jewfish before and I started to lay and just checking around, looking around, see what I can see. Looked up, nice mackerel swimming above my head, but uh, I wasn't here to shoot a mackerel. I was pretty keen to find a jewfish, and it was looking pretty fishy. I figured I was gonna see one. I looked to my right, and here comes a nice school of jewies, and I tried to pick the biggest one out of the school. Lead fish was a good one, but I was looking for one big, thick back, big, thick shoulders. So I just looked through the school a little bit. A couple of those ones, they were looking good, but the one at the back, big, thick shoulders. Hurt him pretty bad, struggled a bit on the bottom, and then pulled him straight up. When I was getting him to the surface, shaking his head a little bit, and I can just see he's a really good fish. So it's about eight o'clock in the morning. Andrew and I both got really good jewfish and we started to decide what are we gonna do from here? We didn't realize that the day was actually gonna become one of the best days diving of my life. One of the best fish I've ever shot. One of the craziest situations. And I'm really glad I can share it with you today. Uh, this fish was incredibly tough to shoot incredibly difficult to get out of the ocean, incredibly difficult to get back into the boat. And I would probably say one of the hardest fish and one of the hardest dives I've ever done to actually shoot a fish. Uh, as you're gonna see in this clip, there is some absolute mayhem when it comes to actually targeting this fish. Uh, it all looked like it was going smoothly until I pulled the trigger and then all hell broke loose. That's as hard a dive as I've ever done to shoot one of those fish. Damn. I didn't feel like an hour or anything, but it was as hard as I ever did. All right, you've seen my exhausted, exasperated explanation of this dive. Now, let's jump in the water and see it happen. How's this? Cut down, there's that, that slip through a cave. So I come down, I thought I saw one swim off in the dark. I couldn't really make it out. And I got down to, there's a big, two big rocks. The rock hanging over makes it swim through. So I got down, I was looking, at the rocks and there was a big school of dew just laid up inside the rocks. I just had a quick glance and there was blubbers of dew. And I was like, nah, no jacks. So I kept going down. And around the back, and I like, tuck the gun in, come into the cave, and I'm like, oh, there's nothing. Up top of the cave, but black hood. Turned off. Oh! <laughs> and he just bolted at the other end of the cave. So, like, climbed through that cave, up to like 38. So, I'm through that cave, come around the corner. He went into that big, there's like big ledges between the two, like big cracks, and went into that. So, I like pulled it, and I could see the spear had toggled on the other side. And I like pulled it out, like, don't tear out, don't tear out. And it's brought up then. I'm like, yes, up. I got, uh, got above and I pulled it out of the rocks. I'm like, awesome, the shark's like this. I'm like, don't be a dog. Went to go. No squirrel, it was full jammed. Tried to go, nothing. Pulled my bell reel, clipped it on, and then just like pulling it and then letting it spool a bit, pulling it, let it spool. See those sharks. I was like, ah, oh, I'm ready to get to the surface now. It's a massive dive already. And then I'm like, that's what I 
hit the service. It's blue just to see hold them up a bit. Drive around, noise. When I hit the surface, I wasn't just speaking gibberish and about to black out. What I was actually saying is drive around noise. Uh, what we found over the last couple of years, sharks have got so bad, I, I did not want to lose this fish. I knew how big it was, I knew it was an epic big fish. And that shark had buzzed it already on the bottom and I knew it was chasing it all the way back to the surface. So I yelled out to Andrew, drive right now noise make noise and loop around me so this is something we do continually uh, we could even have someone drive around the whole time while you're pulling that fish to the surface it keeps the sharks back just that little bit doesn't work every time but nine out of times out of ten it works As you can see, that is a monster jack. 14.5 kilos of weight, uh, just over the meter mark. A fish that I have dreamed about for probably 20 years plus. And to, to shoot that fish and to take it, and the situation, the circumstances, was just mind blowing. Incredible fish, absolutely stoked. I'll be honest, the dream isn't quite totally fulfilled. There are bigger ones and I'm still after that bigger fish. But I hope that you really got a kick out of this video and, and I hope that it inspires you to go after some dreams of your own. If you enjoyed what you watched today, check out more of the great videos we have on this channel. Listen, we have way more crazy footage, heaps of stories to share. So like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future episodes. Also, I'd love to hear from you. So make some comments in those comment sections and give us some great ideas for some of the future segments. Listen, we are wanting to do big things with this channel and Spearfishing Down Under as a whole. We really need your support. So thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next episode.